Well, first time I saw Anne's work is uh, a little bit more than a year ago. Uh, I was uh, so lucky to sit in the jury in the, in the Biennale of Valoris in south of France. And Anne was uh, applying for this Biennale. And that was the first time I saw her work. She was immediately accepted by the whole uh, entire jury. And we named her Madame Chocolat because we thought that there was a there was a reference to the color and the shape and well the fact that she was Belgian as well. I was sitting here and doubting about myself and um, one day Louise de Hert came into my studio and she was so enthusiastic about my porcelain cups. Uh, she, she immediately fell in love with those cups and um, you must know that uh, Louise has been a successful ceramist herself with uh, selections in uh, Faenza, in Valoris and many other places. Um, this was before she started uh, creating heads and bags with her daughter. Um, they are very successful in you know, selling their award products all over the world. So when she left, uh, I thought, Anne, if this lady believes in your work, why shouldn't you believe in it yourself? Go for it! And uh, that's what I did. You see that she is uh, having great skills. Uh, she, uh, it looks so extremely easy to make, but you really have to be a good skillsman to do this kind of work. Uh, I like the simplicity. I like that she has not added any uh, glazes or angobas. It's just pure clay. It looks like she has cut into leather and folded up. Simple as that. Minimal, beautiful. I've never seen a, a career like Anne's because she has really taken off like over the past year. She is selected to, to almost everything that you can get selected at and uh, she has several prizes. She uh, had a solo show in my gallery. Um, well, she's been a rocket taking off a year ago and I don't know where she will, where she will go with it, but she's going high now.